Welcome to this release of Design Fusion Solid Edge Blog. This is the final part of our four part series introducing you to the top new enhancements in Solid Edge 2025 mechanical design. In the first three parts of this blog series, we looked at the new enhancements that are highlighted in blue on this slide. So if you missed any of these three parts, you may want to view them first. In this blog, you will be introduced to the topics highlighted in green. The ability to add and edit face styles in the assembly environment has been added in Solid Edge 2025. The way you do this is as follows. Step 1. Open an assembly and navigate to the style palette. Step 2. Choose the face option in the select drop down list. Step 3. Drag and drop a style from the style palette onto a face in the graphics window to apply the style to the individual face. A new command called Style Picker has been added to the style palette. The style picker allows the user to sample styles directly in the graphics window and then either apply or save these sampled styles. This is achieved by doing the following. Step 1. Navigate to the Style Palette and click on the New Style Picker button. Step 2. Left mouse button click on a face in the graphics window to bring up a context menu. Then select either Apply, Save to Material Table, or Save to Current Document. Selecting Apply launches the part painting mode with the sampled style. Selecting Save to Material Table saves the sampled style to the material table. Selecting Save to Current Document saves the sampled style to the current document folder in the style palette. Let's have a quick look at this in Solid Edge 2025. I'll use this assembly to show the new enhancements made to the style palette in Solid Edge 2025. Within the style palette, we have different materials already listed. The list shows the styles from the material table, the ones present in the current document we are working on, along with the high quality styles. Within the All Styles list, I'll scroll down to view all the colors. I'll select the orange one to apply to the model. Once selected, I choose the option to apply the selected style to a face of the model. I then click on the two faces within the assembly. I can continue to apply the same style to other faces within the assembly. Next, I'll demonstrate the new feature called Style Picker. Here we have the golden color which I want to apply to other faces. I'll click on the Style Picker and select the face. I now have three options. Apply, Save to Material, or Save to Current Document. For this example, I'll select the Save to Current Document option. I'm presented with a pop-up window where I can type in a name to save the style under. In this case, I'll use GLD1. Notice that if I scroll down the All Styles, I can see that our style has been captured and can now be used at any time. Alternatively, I could pick on the Style Picker again and select the golden face. This time, I'll select the Apply option, and I can then apply this style directly to the faces. For example, I'll apply the gold color over the orange color. The new Hybrid Annotation capability allows users to simultaneously place a dimension with a control frame when using the Smart Dimension command or the Distance Between command. Users can connect the dimension line to the dimension or the feature control frame. Any feature control frame save settings can be accessed through the drop-down list. It should be noted that when using this method to place a feature control frame, you will not have access to the Text and Leaders tab or the additional tab that you have in the Feature Control Frame command. Hybrid Annotation is supported for pulled out text. 
meaning that the hybrid annotation display would be adjusted according to the override set for pulled out text in the dimension style. Hybrid annotation can be exported to JT, STEP, NX, 3D PDF, DXF, and DWG files. Let's have a quick look at this in Solid Edge 2025. Before Solid Edge 2025, users had to add the feature control frame separately from the dimension and attach it to the dimension. Users now have the option to select the dimension and use the hybrid annotation section to add a feature control frame as so desired. Notice that the general tab appears the same as if I had chosen the feature control frame command. However, feature control frames added with this command will not have access to the text and leaders tab or the additional text tab. I format the feature control frame the same way I would in the feature control frame command. Notice how the feature control frame is placed with the dimension. The dimension line can be attached to either the dimension or the feature control frame. Additional enhancements have been made to the feature control frame in Solid Edge 2025. Users can now add additional text information below the feature control frame. This enhancement comes with multi-line support and preview support. Subscript information can be saved in feature control frame save settings for later reuse. Along with the enhanced subscript support, Solid Edge 2025 also allows additional text information above and after to be added to the feature control frame. These enhancements come with preview support for both the superscript and suffix and multi-line support for the superscript. Suffix rows will be enabled based on the feature control frame information entered in the general tab. The superscript and suffix information can be saved in feature control frame save settings for later reuse. Superscript, subscript, and suffix can be exported to NX, JT, STEP, 3D PDF, DXF, and DWG files. Let's have a quick look at this in Solid Edge 2025. Subscripts, superscripts, and suffixes can be added during the creation of feature control frames, or if they are already placed, they can be added from the properties. Notice that I can quickly add a subscript for this part. I have all the needed symbols available, just like I do for any feature control frame. I'll switch over to the crank part where I can add a quick superscript and suffix. If I have a multi-feature control frame, as in this case, I can pick to place the suffix next to either of the feature control frames, or even add one suffix for each. As you can see, Solid Edge 2025 has added some excellent enhancements to the Feature Control Frame command. This brings us to the end of this blog series on the top new enhancements in Solid Edge 2025 mechanical design. I encourage you to explore all of the new enhancements in Solid Edge 2025. To do this, in Solid Edge 2025, go to the Discovery tab and select the Learn page. Under Help and Tutorials, click on the What's New link to access the help documentation. Here you have access to all the new enhancements. Want to learn more? Please sign up to our customer portal at the website listed here, where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how-to articles, and much more. If you need additional support, Contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-215-1883.